On the day the joint session of both the House of Representatives and the Senate was to certify the election results, Al Gore, in his dual role as outgoing Vice President and President of the Senate, presided over the event that would officially anoint George W. Bush as the new President. If any congressman wanted to raise an objection, the rules insisted that he or she had to have the signed support of just one senator. Mr. President, and I take great pride in calling you that, um, I must object because of the overwhelming evidence of official misconduct, deliberate fraud, and an attempt the to The chair must remind out. members that under Section 18 of Title III, United States Code, no debate is allowed in the joint session. Thank you, Mr. President. To answer your question, Mr. President, the objection is in writing, signed by a number of members of the House of Representatives, but not by a member of the Senate. Uh, Mr. President, it is in writing and signed by several House colleagues on behalf and myself of the 27,000 voters of Duval County in which 16,000 of them are African Americans that was disenfranchised in this last the, election. Uh, is the objection signed by a member of the Senate? Not signed by a member of the Senate. The Senate is missing. Mr. President, it is in writing and signed by myself on behalf of many of the diverse constituents in our country, especially those in the 9th Congressional District, and all American voters who recognize the, that the Supreme the, uh, Court, not the is, people of the United the, States, decided this election. Is the objection uh, signed by a senator? Unfortunately, Mr. President, it is not signed by one single senator. Unfortunately, I have no authority over the United States Senate, and no senator has signed. Mr. President, it is in writing and signed by myself and several of my constituents, constituents from Florida. A senator is needed, but missing. Is the objection uh, in writing and signed by a member of the House and a senator? The objection is in writing, and I don't care that it is not, it is not signed by a member of the Senate. The, uh, the chair will advise that the rules do care, and uh, the, the signature of the senator. Not a single senator came to the aid of the African Americans in Congress. One after another, they were told to sit down and shut up. And it's a sad the day in chair. America, Mr. President, when we can't find a senator to sign the gentleman, objections. The gentleman will suspend. Mr. President, the gentleman will. The gentleman will suspend.